man. How you been? Good, are you? Oh, not bad. So I know you were a part of the uh, w, uh, World Boxing Super Series at yes, one point. Yes. How did that end? No, no, I still work with them. Okay. You know, just in a different, in a different, uh, in a different function, in a different role. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be at the final in Japan. Okay. Uh, with uh, Nonito and Inoue, so I'm going to be there. Uh, I talked to the owner uh, Bernard Burgener a couple of days ago. Uh, so I'm still, uh, I'm, I'm basically uh, very close with the owner of the World Boxing Super Series, Swiss fellow by the name of uh, Bernard Burgener. So okay, and, and you, Ringstar, how is, how's it going with Ringstar? I work very, I still have Ringstar. Uh -huh. Have like uh, 14 fighters under contract. Uh, most of them are fighting, and all of them fighting under the PBC, the Premier Boxing Champions umbrella. As you know, I'm very close with my friend Al Heyman, uh -huh. so we work very well together. Uh, I have two of the fighters fighting on this card here: Spence and Porter, the two Mexican Olympians. Okay. Uh, they are all uh, they're doing very well. Both of them are undefeated, 10 and 0, 10 knockouts. Uh, so you know, it's so like building up the next generation. Okay, and um, one more question: um, the. Uh the, the Crawford situation, um, Crawford and Spence, you know, being a uh, former person that was in promotion, like a head of a Golden Boy and such like that, why, why do you think these, these, these camps can't work together? What is the main reason, like? Well, you know, I think at one point when the fights really need to happen, they happen, as we've seen with Mayweather and Pacquiao. Uh, so I think when there is really, when, when, when there is no other big fights, these fights will happen. But. You know, as it relates to Spence, uh, he has a big challenge here ahead of him with Sean Porter. Uh, the PBC stable of welterweights is very deep. I think like 80, 90 percent of all welterweights, uh, are, uh, which matter, are, uh, are are within the PBC umbrella. So there's a lot of possibilities for Spence within the PBC under the PBC umbrella. For example. Um, you know, there is uh, Manny Pacquiao as a potential fight. There's a Danny Garcia as a potential fight. So there's a lot of fights for Spence under the PBC umbrella. And I think those fights are going to happen. And it, I think we're living in a golden age for the welterweights. Uh, you know, with Spence and Porter and Thurman. Uh, uh, of course, Manny Pacquiao, uh, Danny Garcia, Mikey Garcia. We have great fighters. Uh, it's like back in the days with Leonard Jordans and Hagler and uh, and, and Duran, you know, this is like our era of like, those great fighters. And as long as they fight each other, uh, it's okay. You know, we as fight fans are the beneficiaries. I mean, this one here is a perfect example. Spence and Porter, hell of a fight. Both fighters wanted. You saw the intensity here at the weigh-in. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a great night. And fight fans know that. Staples Center is sold out, 19,000 people. Oh. So as long as you see these kind of fights, there's really not that much of a need to see Spence fighting Crawford right now. Spence has many other options. So you think the, the chances of that fight happening you think it's slim to none? Or no, I wouldn't say slim. I think a fight eventually is going to happen. Uh, but right now there are other there are other opportunities for uh, Errol Spence. You know, I forgot to ask you, Joe Joyce, you still, you still work with Joe Joyce? Yes. Okay, so when does he do uh, the fight? Um... Well, uh, you know, he's fighting more now in the UK. Okay. So I actually talked to his team uh, earlier this week and the co-promoter Frank Warren. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, I talked to him as well. So they're going to be meeting in London this Friday. Today, as a matter of fact, probably met already, given the time difference. And they're going to discuss what's next. Uh, the plan is to have him fight again in the UK okay. uh, sometime this year. And then in the early part of next year, have him fight in the US. So we'll see, we'll see uh, what's up for him. You know, he's very good. He's very strong. Yeah. And when you're too strong and too good, uh, it makes it that much more difficult to find somebody who wants to share the ring with him. I mean, there's a reason why Joe Choice in record time has become uh, the, the WBA Gold World Champion, has really passed every test put in front of him with flying colors. And now he's ready to take on the big boys. And when you want to want to take on the big boys, uh, meaning top two, three ranked guys, um, you know, you need to have a little bit of patience. Mm. And it takes time to get these guys and these fights done. But, um, you know, we have a great team. And so I'm sure we're going to get Joe the fights uh, he wants and he deserves. Yes, definitely. I hope to see him do well. And uh, it's always a pleasure seeing you, man, because you do a great Thank job. Thank you so man. much.